Elvira Kurt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking look about. Look at you. You look fantastic. You're in a I pinstripe to... suit. It is. It's from the Gian Gomeshi's <laughs> Little Brother collection. <laughs> Uh, I like how you go from older sister to little brother so fluidly from I'm to both, me. I'm both. Yes. I know I'm, I'm actually your older <laughs> sibling, but I look like your younger brother. You do, you do. My lovable lung. So welcome to London, Ontario. That was quite an ovation. People are excited about the Cultural <laughs> Hall of Shame. It's one thing uh, you can definitely say about London. They love their gay people. <laughs> Really? <laughs> no. Really, you had to go. <laughs> it's a fluke. Who knows who these people are? <laughs> no, it's uh, of course I, I love it here. I spent uh, I spent a lifetime here one summer with uh, Second City. <laughs> so I came to love. I found an awesome comic book store. Any chance I get? Did I not invite myself onto this show? You did. All you the shows. You wanted to be here. Yeah, you did. God, just driving behind the caravan. I'm like, where you guys? <laughs> way up. Who or what? Yes. Is in the Cultural Hall of Shame. All right. Serious well, business. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, there are all the many things happening in this week in March. One of them is taking place in Hanover, Germany, one of my favorite places to target in the Hall of Shame. Uh, there's a tech fair, a giant, the biggest tech fair in the world, CBIT, it's called. CBIT. They're being shamed. <laughs> Shame on them. World's biggest. 4,200 like exhibitors and from 70 countries around the world. And their biggest attraction this year Pole dancing robots. Po pole dancing. Yes, I understand. No, yes, pole Not dancing. Not Polish ro dancing <laughs> robots. Right, right. Which would be awesome. I am talking about like stripper bots, right, right. essentially. Robots that pole dance, like a stripper's pole dance pole. Yeah. Robots that, I mean, it boggles the mind that, right. uh, that in this year of all years, the 40th anniversary of the, of the appearance of the pocket calculator, <laughs> the very apex of technology, the eye touch of its time, <laughs> That we sink so low as as to as to somehow be excited by robots whose only function is to d dirty dance. <laughs> it's horrifying to kind me. Kind of this, interesting. This no. This to me, it's like no. this is what you use your massive brain and your big highfalutin degree for. Not for good. Not even for evil. But just for weird. <laughs> just and sad. And just sad. I mean. Gian, th think about it, okay? You're a digital pioneer, a techno visionary, alone with your imagination. What, what can I possibly invent to wow the world? Maybe change the future, and this is what you come up like a gyrating metal stripper. <laughs> My God, think about just real strippers now. Think about real. Think about the entire peeler industry. The the one job that you would think would be impervious to technology suddenly, suddenly, suddenly strippers are the new factory workers to be replaced. Like there's some like some like like anyone oh, could do on, it. No, hang How on, hang on, hang on, young, how will young women ever pay for their medical school? <laughs> okay? Does, I'm just, I'm just curious now. Uh, by curious, with, by, with, yes, with the pole robots. Uh, yes, do, you are. <laughs> we, how, does, how can you get your hands on some? Is that your? Well, I just want to know, does the pole dancing robot perhaps do other things too? <laughs> no, I. Like a. <laughs> John. Yes. I just mean. For an extra 30 euros, you can get a lap dance and a, I don't know, a happy ending. What do you need? What do you need? I actually, honestly, I thought maybe the robot, it serves that, that other folks. <laughs> No, it's not for the first the person who asked if his father's embarrassed by his impersonation. No, that's not it. It, it would be this line of thinking. What, what more can I get from a pole dancing robot? How can the pole no, dancing just... robot serve me? 
<laughs> she uh, No. When I I'm just wondering after, after if the adventurer, maybe the pole dancing robot also drives the car or does calculations and then on the side does the pole dancing too. Yes, yes. That's, it's a single mother pole dancer. <laughs> so when it's finished, it's shift. It will go home and uh, take care of the robotic children. <laughs> and... All right. <laughs> really, the pole that's <laughs> where you, I, Okay, <laughs> you and Seabit together in the Hall of Shame. You can just get down. You can just get down with your The pole induct, dancing. the latest inductees of the Cultural Hall of Shame, the pole dancing robot in Hanover, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, Evira Kurt, comedian, writer, curator of Q's Cultural Hall of Shame.